These are 10 of my all time favorite tools that I've purchased on Amazon. Let's go. By far my favorite square I've ever purchased is the DFM Small Carpenter Square. This thing has some unique features to it, but it's the one that I always grab every time I'm building something. It's the perfect size square. It'll mark straight across a two or four all across it. It's actually three and a half inches tall and it has all of these individual marks at 1 16th of an inch. So you can mark layout parallel lines or whatever you need to do there. It also has these pre-drilled holes at different degrees so that you can lay out different things octagons, hexagons, anything like that, that you need to do quick, fast, and in a hurry. It can also be used as a shoulder square, just like that. Then you can just continue that mark all the way around. Anodized aluminum in blue. I like it in blue, but there are, there are other colors as well. Made in the USA right there in Chicago, Illinois. It is half the price of the Woodpecker's Delve Square and just one of my all-time favorite squares. Next up are the Craig setup blocks. I use these all the time. These are my favorite setup blocks that I've ever bought. I like these because it comes in a nice case. I can keep them nice and organized. They go from 1 8 all the way to half inch in this case. And what I really appreciate about these, they're anodized aluminum, so they're gonna last you a long time. They're really durable. Every point on here, so if you pick up a 3 8 or an 8, it doesn't really matter. Whatever measurement that says 3 8, that is 3 8 of an inch. So we can set our bit or blade heights using that one. That is 3 8 of an inch thick, so we can use that to set up, say, the fence away from the blade. And then that is 3 8 of an inch tall, so we can use that to check the depths on our, say, where we're going to put a T track in or whatever. You can use that as a gauge to check that. So there are three measurements all the same on each block. For instance, this 8 is 8 8 8 and so on. These are extremely nice and you will not be disappointed if you pick up a set. Next up, the gripper push blocks. My favorite push blocks for the router table, the bandsaw, and the jointer for a couple of specific reasons. Number one, mainly, is these little legs that fold down. When you set it on top of a board, if you just wanna use it on the top, they will get out of the way. And then it also has that grippy bottom on there. You can push through most anything. But if you need a little extra, it gives those little feet there. That way you can guide your cut all the way through, especially on the bandsaw or the jointers where I really use those little legs. You can also lock them down if so chose, but for the most part, I leave them just like that. It's best to have two of these, especially on the jointer or the bandsaw. Next up is white side router bits. There's a four pack that you can buy for less than $100. And while that seems like a lot of money, a good quality router bit is on another level when you start using them a lot. If you're a beginner, typically that doesn't matter as much, but when you start worried about the wood burning and tear out and all that, then it really starts to matter. White side are some of the best bits you can buy in my opinion. And they have this set with four of the most common profiles or bits you're gonna use. They've got a chamfer bit. They've got a round over, a little nice little eighth inch round over, I believe it is, that I use all the time. And then they actually have some flush trim, AKA pattern bits. So if you've ever seen me use, say the radius jig, this is what I'm using because these make a great pattern bit. You can also use those to flush trim if you needed to do that. It's a great set. If you bought a table saw and you're not happy with the current miter gauge you have, then this is the likely replacement in my opinion. This is the Incra V27. I've been extremely happy with this since I bought it. The saw stop comes with a miter gauge that is hot garbage. It is not good and they should be ashamed for putting it in a box. However, there is an alternate replacement. Of course you have to buy it extra, but this is the Incra V27. I like it because it has all of these positive stops. Most of them are at five degree increments and except for right there at 22 and a half. It's extremely easy to adjust. All you do is loosen this knob and then turn. Most of us are cutting at zero and 45. Those are the most common cuts, and this is extremely accurate. I've had zero issues with this. It stays 90 when I lock it at 90. It's 45 when I put it at 45. It stays snug in this miter slot, and I can attach a faux fence on the front of it if I need some extra support. It's well made, it's extremely accurate, and it's affordable, which I like. Next up, another DFM square. This is a small square, it's purple, which is one of the reasons I like it, but there's two main reasons I keep it and use it all the time. Number one is a center finder. So it comes with two pins. All you do is drop them in the hole. The center hole has a step down. That's where your pencil goes. Make a mark, you found center, simple as that. The next thing I use a for is I can check the end of my chisel to make sure that it is square. Palm size, you can use it around the shop. You can, of course, use it just as a regular square to square blades and anything else you want to square. It's just super handy to have a tiny little square. Next is a thin rip jig. This thing is really affordable and super handy to have. The last time I showed it, it sold out pretty quick. This thing is just extremely handy if you're making small thin strips on the table saw. All you have to do is set the fence on the first piece of stock 
get that thickness and then just repeat. All you have to do is make the cut, move the fence, make the cut, move the fence. You'll create the exact same thickness of a thin strip, hence the name thin rip jig. All you do is tighten this knob down to get it snug when you get it to where you want it. And then you essentially created a stop block for your thin strips. So you know exactly where to put it every single time. Next up are magnetic trays. Why do you need those? Well, I use them to keep my bits sorted as far as my driver bits. Super easy to find. I got a metal wall that they stick to, or you can just put this on the workbench or in a drawer. Super easy to keep up with all your bits. Or when you're working on things that have screws and bolts, put those in there, keeps them from getting lost and falling on the floor. These are just super handy to have because you get a three pack for very cheap. Check them out. If you have a bandsaw, you gotta get these. These are Carter fast setup blocks. If you've never heard of Carter, they make a bunch of bandsaw specific accessories and blades and things like that. I bought this set. It comes with one eight, three sixteenths, quarter, three eighths and half, which is the most common size. You're gonna be ripping things down with the bandsaw. These are super awesome for Two reasons. Not only do they have handy dandy magnets to be able to stick it onto the bandsaw to keep up with them, there's a groove right there so that the teeth of the blade doesn't really interfere with you setting up your fence. Move that fence over till it bumps, then you can tighten it down. Now you know you've got a half inch rip right there. Fast, easy setup for the bandsaw. Last but certainly not least, if you have a drill or an impact, you need, you need a right angle drill attachment. This is one of the most frustration reducing attachments you can get. This helps you get into tight spaces and drive those screws where you wouldn't otherwise be able to fit a regular drill or driver. It's an extremely simple tool, fits all quarter inch driver bits. I use this thing all the time. Get you one of these if you wanna save some frustration. Guess what? There's five tools you've never seen before, probably. Click that box, click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump or five tools you didn't know you needed until now. Click those.